So, Anna, how about a glass of something expensive on the terrace and we can take in the view? Oh. No. No. Look, uh, it's 2 a.m. now. I'm doing breakfast with a friend at Trilby's at 7.15, so working back, that's three minutes shower, 15 minutes hair and makeup, sleep, two and a half hours, leaving us only three hours for hard penetrative sex. <laughs> Three hours. Where's the bedroom? Uh, through there. You got any appliances I can uh, warm up with? Got a toaster. Not. No. So I've still got the job? If we're going to penetrate the female market, we need something potent. So Dionda are aiming the new urban range of 4WD directly at women. There's some stiff opposition in this territory. Stiff opposition. Women want something with grunt, performance, endurance. Something that won't let them down at the critical moment. Now we're aiming this new range directly at the female four-wheel drive market. So that's that's got to be our thrust. 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 We need something so potent. Stiff. If we're going to penetrate the female market, we won't let them down at the critical moment. Oh, we get the point. Sorry. So given that we're about to launch this new off-roader to women, I was thinking it might be useful to actually have some in the room. Women. Mm. We've done hundreds of successful campaigns aimed at women. Oh, and... you've researched this? Oh, extensively. Oh, then you'd know that women are complex. They're emotional rather than visual. They're prone to changing their minds, but fiercely loyal and capable of quite irrational fury when let down. That about covers it. Mm. Women are much more terrifying than that. Let me let you in on a little secret. Even women are frightened of other women. So if you think you're going to win us over by putting uh, a pink vase on a dashboard, you can think again. Go ahead. Oh, hi. Sumo, note, we lose the pink vase. Uh-huh. Just as soon as I find my testicles, I think they've become detached. <laughs> so what happened? Did you, like, did you drive around no, with it, it just, just there? <laughs> like, what did you say? I... Oh. What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing in I'm sorry? Hmm? Nothing... Nothing important. <laughs> Just women's talk. Hmm. Well, I didn't employ you two to sit around chatting. Oh, what exactly would you like me to do? Um, my role hasn't been made clear yet. Yeah. I need you to, uh... get up to speed with every ad we've ever done. What for? There's hundreds of them. Take yourself into the viewing room and... don't allow yourself to be distracted. Hmm? Lock the door. We need to cast four women to be deployed immediately. Right, well, McLeod's daughters of rats, so I'll speak to Jeff no, and get this. No, all unknown. I want one pretty, two passable, and one plain. Plain or ugly? Both. One must wear glasses, and the other must be of Asian extraction. Slightly Asian or fully blind? Lucy Lou. OK, English speaking? No, oh, they don't need to talk. Well, what, what are we casting them for? To be women at all times. Oh, right. Intelligence tells us that they to think we're too heavy on the Y chromosome. We need more women in our meetings. Well, what about uh, Anna Martin's new girl? Under she... I mean, no circumstances. Ah, sure. I want flowers, mirrors, essential oil strategically placed on any available surface. Is there anything else women need? No, that covers it. Now, this little beauty is the Pofa Power Pof 24 volt cordless drill. Runs at 6,500 RPM top speed. 6,500 RPM. Hold the PF893 in your hand and have a guess at what power it delivers. Oh, I wouldn't want to guess, Bob. <laughs> you have to. Um, uh, four? No? Yes, yes. Four, uh, 410. <laughs> uh, 
410. Well, it may feel like 410, but that's 425 unit watts. This drill has 14.2% more torque than the PF563. There's your ad, right there. 14.2. Did you hear that, Kath? Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I'm boring you. Oh, no, I'm, I love a powerful tool. Bob! Sorry I'm late. So, we're reinventing the puffer power tool. Yeah, for some reason they still keep calling us puffer. Anyhow, there's the brief. But before I sign off on this campaign, I have a request. In order for you to get a feel for these babies, I want you to build this simple cabinet. You see, some men use power tools. Other men become the tool. Sumo, all yours. You're going to fall in love with these, son. Do you use hand cream? Become the tool, Sumo. Now this one fits the pretty and Asian categories. Is that going to be a problem, or do we want? No time. We'll have to run with that. Yeah. Kit them out. Congratulations. Boomerang. Well done. That must come back to me. Okay. Oh, you're very well dressed for a builder. Sumo. Senior creative around here. Well, that's if you ignore Martin and. I do that very well. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Anna. And here I was, wondering where all the real men had gone. I know. I should be writing ads, but, you know, I just love working with my hands. Oh. Well, uh, you must show me sometime. <laughs> Just been talking to her. No. Well, her people, yeah. No. I'm getting the sense that she's very keen to get on board with us or something. No. Wake yourself up. Drink very bland. Hey, hey. Hey, hi, hi. Oh, look, I'm sorry about last night. You know, I had a migraine in the afternoon. I've been taking this new medication. It's, I'm, it's no good. No, I'm fine. I'm so Is fine. Honestly. Good, because, you know, dinner was good. And, uh, you know, I think we should go out to dinner again. And I promise this time, no uh, migraines. Um, now we're working together, I just, I don't think it's such a good idea. No. No, it would be pretty damaging for your career if anyone found out that something had happened between us. But it didn't. No. No. <laughs> Rex, the beer with bite. That won me a can line. Oh, yeah? Wow. Yes! I told you, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. <sighs> You've done it already. Yep. Finally open this bastard of a box. <laughs> Let's get a beer. Women. Women, women. From the chocolate fields of black beer. When you're spurting like a geyser. The toilet's so clean, I could lick it. With hair so healthy, it's rootable. 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 Belle. Martin, some points on women yeah. today under campaign. No, I... I don't need you to tell me about women. I've got something. Is the presentation ready? I'll have something. Who's she? I've never seen her before. Who are these women? I don't know. One of them gave me a folder. What's in it? Nothing. We open with a 35-year-old woman driving her brand-new Dionda Urban Ranger. Her kids sit safely buckled up in the back seat, wearing non-specific private school uniforms. Is she an executive? 
Yeah. Um, successful. In a kind of... Unassuming knows who she is kind of way? Exactly. Balancing career and kids? Yeah. She drives in a hostile environment, but, but she arrives home with the children safe and her husband of 20 years rushes out to greet her because he still finds her sexually attractive. No, he's just realised he's gay. It's a whole new twist. Congratulations. I think you've just covered every female marketing cliche from the past decade. What do you think? I can probably answer that. I want to hear what she's got to say. It's like every other ad on telly, I reckon. It's crap. Insight and honesty. That's why she's paid so much. Thank you, Angelica. Natalie. What's this? The space shuttle. Yeah, <laughs> hi, Sandy. Look, I need you to find me a guy, someone that you'd see in a hardware commercial. I'm not an actor. Oh, Christ, no, not an actor. How many ad execs does it take to... We've heard that, Dad. <laughs> it's funny, though. Well, no, that doesn't go here. That's the wrong housing. Who made you an expert? Uh, my dad was a cabinet maker. Give me the drill. Soy chai latte, anyone? Uh, skim. Martin, women are complex, but our strategy remains simple. Is this old, or did you take it out of someone's skull this morning? We need to target their right hemisphere. That is where fear lives. Fear of losing family, fear of being let down, fear of <laughs> not being satisfied sexually. <laughs> Where's the I love you, buy me a diamond, let's have a kid, I hate you, give me half your money part of the brain? We are in danger of losing our most valuable client. I have reserved a table in the western quadrant of La Sala restaurant tonight. Near the latrines. You said romance is dead. You will take Marion and impress her with your sensitivity and insight into complex marketing problems. You can still impress a woman, can't you, Martin? Yeah. Yeah, whack her right in the frontal cortex. That's her occipital lobe. A blow there will cause spasms. Oh, and Martin, what's this I hear about Sumo taking out the new girl? Anna, is it tonight? Is what? It concerns me too. Make it known that mating among staff will not be tolerated. Aqua visceral for men. Siphoned from the sweat glands of an angry panther. On the night, Panther Man. Marty. What do you think, Angelina? I'm sure you two will be very happy together. Should be good in one of our ads. Not sure which one. Good reference, anyway. Enormously useful. Yeah. I'll find out. Where's Sumo? Christening the new girl. Which is really ridiculous, because this builder was showing me so much crack, I nearly parked my bike in it. And his mate with an IQ, a too low to, you know, spell IQ, manages to knock this tile off the roof, which is decapitating me by this much. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you have kids? Yeah. Some more wine? Yeah, yeah, why not? It's, um, <laughs> I have this friend that makes this just truly awful wine, but he just keeps giving it to me. And it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of endearing that he's so passionate about it, but it's just... Oh, yeah, Sumo. Oh, you're twice the man Martin is. Oh, I think you just hit long. Sorry. And, and it's, it's, it's really the stuff that should probably end up in the, in the spit bucket. <laughs> That's why it's so good. Oh, yeah. You won't be disappointed. I know. Oh, oh, I don't listen to office gossip. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, nothing. Just girls talk. Oh, I can see you're no Chris Jenkins. Jenkins from BBDO. Hung like a pimple. Mind you, better than Spiro. You and Spiro? Longest two seconds of my life. Mm. Oh, what's happened down there? Oh, 
sunburnt and everyone got really sunburnt. And then on the, on the last day of my holiday, I peeled off all my skin and I, and I boiled it up and I drank it as a derma infusion. Great. Yeah, I love holidays. I didn't want to come and have dinner with you either. Okay, Dionda asked me to make this work and I've tried. Sorry? You're, you're exactly that, that cliched, puffed up, wanker advertising creative director I've been hoping to avoid. Um, look, I have to be. Um, if you want to sell anything, you have to speak fluent cliche, otherwise no one would buy a bloody thing. Oh, well, not everyone's as obvious as you. No, I think you're wrong about men and women. We're all pretty obvious. <laughs> I'm a puffed up show dog wanker. Brooke is a recreational psychopath, and uh, you're. Sorry? What, what am I? Uh, on. Tell me, I'm a big girl. Well, you're late 30s, you drive an Audi, you uh, wear Manolo Blanix, you have a bow stereo and Christian Dior sunglasses, and you probably have a smeg oven that you never use. Go on. You're worried about your weight, although. You don't have to be. <laughs> Look at you. Um, you're probably out of a failed relationship with a married ex-colleague and you're ignoring the biological clock. I, I'm, not, I'm not weight obsessed. I, just, I, I happen to like salad. Mm. You see, none of us like to have our real selves reflected back at us. We like to imagine that we're leading the perfect life defined by perfect brands. You know, forgive me for, for liking citrus dressing. You know who the hardest people to sell to are? Happy people. If you want to sell more stuff to happy people, you have to make them unhappy. Well, you're the master at that. I hope you don't mind, but I used a half pine dovetail on this joint. I think it makes it look better. Did the plan say to do that? <laughs> you can't just do a butter joint. You were meant to follow the plans to the letter. Sorry. I should have done it myself. I want someone else handling my account, or I promise you I'll take it to another agency. Let's run a fence around this problem. We're meeting at 1100. If he shows up with nothing suitable, he'll be summarily dismissed. I don't need a chorus line of women to make me feel better about the low standard of work I'm being presented. Already gone. Thank you. Oop, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, 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 and the pen. I think I'm not... I misjudged you, son. Look, I'm sorry about the half When I first shook hands with you and felt your pudgy, girly fingers, I thought, not a hope in hell. But dovetail joints like these. I just want you to know that it wasn't Sumo's fault. Oh, come on. No, it, it was me. I, I, it's done. So bloody sorry. She should take better care of herself, don't you think? Nice dress, perfume. Wouldn't hurt. Oh, oh. Um, FYI, it's a no from Angelina's people. For what? For everything, basically. Apparently it's a scheduling issue. It's very disappointing. I don't walk... Martin? Hey. Can I have a word? Uh, I got the under. Yeah, it, it's about Anna. What about her? Well, are you happy with her? I mean, don't you think she's coming on a bit too strong? <sighs> yeah. I mean, she's all over me like a rash. Oh, tell me about it. I had to make it clear. I'm the boss. It's a no-go zone. She obviously went for the next cab in the rank. Right, yeah. Well, it's bad for office morale. Oh, yeah. Just thought I'd let you know, mate. Thanks, mate. Here she is driving her Dionda Urban Ranger. We cut to see a couple of kids in the back seat. Now, the boy draws eyebrows on the girl's face with permanent marker. The girl squeals. The voiceover reads, it's perfect for your perfect kids. She arrives home to find that the husband has deposited dirt all over the driveway. She doesn't flinch. She drives over the mounds of dirt, giving us our four-wheel drive cues. The voiceover reads, it's perfect for your perfect husband. Despite the chaos, she's happy with her imperfect family. The Deonda logo appears, and we get the end line, the Deonda Urban Ranger, the perfect car for an imperfect world. As a final touch, two tiles fall off the roof of the house and smash behind them. 
Congratulations. And no pink bars on the dashboard. Well, we had toyed with the idea of when the car reverses, instead of it going beep beep, it plays Celine Dion. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, that could work. But, um, can I apologise for last night? I make a terrible first impression. Uh, I'm not sure two to six are much better either. And seven? Well, no woman's ever got that far. It's OK. You will never have to take me out to dinner again. I promise. I like you. I, I'd like to. No need. I've already bought your campaign. I still like to. Oh, that'd be a bit too cliched, don't you think? I feel terrible. Next time, just listen carefully to what the client's saying. So there will be a next time? Well, took a lot of talking, but I sold them the ad. Oh, thank God. They are great tools. Yeah. I like them. Now, the idea is all talk, T-O-R-Q-U-E, all action. And I really like the idea of women being empowered by power tools. Hallelujah. Not a cliche. Ooh, ah, cushy, cushy. Ooh, ah, cushy. Oh. Ooh, ah, cushy, cushy. Perfect. Oh, you can't be serious. How is this empowering women? Bob's gonna hate this dated sexist rubbish. Stop! This is all wrong! Told you. What are you doing? You're chipping the underside of the wood. This drill bit is for masonry. Suma! Yep. Come here. Can do. Show the poor girl how to do it, will you? Masonry's for plaster, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Sorry, mate. Bambi? No, Mandy. Oh, Mandy, that's right. Sorry. Sumo. Lovely to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Look, this is... And you're okay with this? Girls in bikinis. He's glad of that, Sumo. Okay, everyone's standing by. We're gonna go again, thanks. They both suggested it might be better for morale if you were transferred to another state or even country. Hmm. Very kind of them. I hope actual copulation wasn't necessary. No, no. Never is. I'm always happy to take your money, Bill, any time. But tell me, why is it that you need me to turn your male staff into quivering, castrated wrecks at every place you go to? In the wild, competition will drive the young male to challenge the alpha male for his title. The result is a much stronger pack. Same with advertising. Heard about Anna going? Yeah. About to take a tough stance. It's a shame. But you know, I got a confession. I um, I had a little thing going on with her. I know. I had a little thing with her too. Well, by little thing, I, I mean I fucked her eyeballs out. I fucked her eyeballs out and I fucked them right back in. <sighs> she had to go. you're planning. Don't spend the night with Martin Manning. Oh. 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 Oh.